Kevin W. 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 Rich. All right, so I'm here with two gentlemen that are on the 100 day detox for beginners program. Eat the sunlight, Ty and Rick. How are you guys feeling right now? I feel great. I feel better than ever. What, what, what day are you on? Day 50. What day are you on? 45. Okay, five days apart. Five days apart. How much have you lost so far? 41 pounds as of this morning. 41 pounds in 50 days. How about yourself? 25. 25 and 45 days. Okay. So let's find out what the difference is here. Okay. Have you been exercising? Oh, I run. I run. I exercise. I work out at the gym. So I get my exercise on. Okay. How about you, Rick? I started working out uh, about two weeks, two to three weeks ago. Okay. So that's probably what the difference is, is, is that you hit the exercise head on. And, and you just started. Yeah. So that's probably what the difference is because you guys are both following the program. Um, I, I'm happy to say that I just included an exercise program to, to the 100 days. Um, and it's meant for people that maybe don't have a routine. And they can jump right into that. Whereas you already had a routine, so you probably would do the routine over the exercise program. But maybe you would have from the beginning. So I'll be sure to send that over. Definitely, I'm gonna need that. Okay, so now let's jump into it. Now, what's it like eating all raw, f raw foods? It is definitely um, an adventure. I mean, coming into it is like, yeah, fruits and vegetables, that's easy. And then it's like, yeah, fruits and vegetables, but you can't cook them. And it's like, oh, okay, hold on, let me let me think, let me backtrack this. All right, so I could have this, this, and this, but. I can't cook that like I normally would, yeah. so that has to be raw. Um, pretty much everything that's out is cooked these days. Everything is processed, so it's impossible to find stuff. It's a lot of like soul searching and store searching and kind of finding a routine, a way to get my groceries and stuff, and running through apples because that's pretty much like the, the go-to food. And yeah, yeah. It's like it's hard work, but and paying off. Yeah, and, and it definitely does pay off. A lot of energy. Feel great now. Now, not only the weight. Now you lost. Would you say fifty or forty-one? Forty-one. Not only have you lost forty-one, but how do you feel? I mean, my energy and just my drive within itself is, has, has changed dramatically. Um, I used to be tired a lot. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I'm out all the time and. I used to be tired. I'm not going to lie. Getting up in the morning used to be the worst. I started this, and it just seems like the energy in the morning, because I didn't eat what I would normally eat that night before, mm -hmm. has changed. So it's like when I wake up, it's like, get up. Let's go. It ain't no more, oh, let me snooze the alarm clock. Now, you're a DJ, and, you know, DJs live that 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 late pizza, pizza and chicken wing type lifestyle with the late night eating. How are you handling that? Because you're around other DJs that are eating. You're around other people that are eating. How, how's that discipline working out for you? I mean, it's hard. And the hardest part about it is because the people around you, they saying, what are you doing? What you eating? <laughs> oh, come on. It's up to you to say, I'm going to get the last laugh. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. It's, the pressure is definitely there. It's all in you. People are going to say, oh, you know, I, I'm all for it. You know, I'm only giving you a hard time. But in all honesty, then they're, they're not all for it, man. I'm gonna be honest. If they was all for it, they'll be doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it all works out. Being a DJ makes it a lot harder because after you done did a club, only thing open is pizza joints, yep. chicken wing joints, like you said. And the fast food. And the fast food. You go get a burger. <laughs> Whole Foods didn't close at 6 30, so it's hard to go find somewhere that you can really eat and have a good time. But if you stock up, like Rick said, you know, go to the right spots, get the right food. Preparation. Prepping, right. Prepping is, is everything with this. I mean, that's honestly because when you run out, you got to go get more. They ain't like, let me go in the fridge of the car. I know there's some extra here because it's not. How are you guys doing with the juicing? Because juicing is a huge part of this. Juicing, juicing is definitely, I liked it. At first I was like, oh, I'm not really knowing juicing celery because I don't really like celery. I was like, oh, I don't know. But once I started getting like different recipes and different stuff and i'm like all right this is cool i could put kale and i could put cilantro and i could put some apples i could put some you know ginger in there a lemon and i got a pretty good juice i'm like so i'm good i could i could do a bunch of these and i could grab them right before i go to work put it in my cooler and i'm good for the rest of the day how about you with the juice the juice at first 
It wasn't a good <laughs> choice. Because <laughs> you want to be drinking green juice. Right, but, you know, once you get, I feel like once you get the hang of anything, it becomes all right to do. You know what I'm saying? You want to do it more. You know what I'm saying? So the juicing part of it at the beginning, it was like, man, this this going to be tough. But once again, if you want it, you're going to get it. And the juice is good. Now, now I'm feeling this. Like, the juice is where it's at. You feel the energy after you drink it? Where's the juice right now? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, part of the program, the way I designed it, is on week four, there's a one-day fast. And then from there on out, it's a one-day fast. Um, I don't want to give too much away on the camera, but how was it when you first did that fast? It was tough. It was tough. Only because, man, once again, you adapt into something new. So to not be able to do certain things, I was upset with you, but at the end, you like my best friend now, you know what I mean? And, and it works out, you know what I mean? The fast was, it was tough in the beginning, but I made it work and now I'm happy I made it work. How about you, Rick? I did it by accident, actually, because I completely wasn't paying attention to that last week. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, I got to do a juice fast. Let me just do it. Let me just, let me bust it down. And I was like, oh, when am I going to do this? And then I ended up just grabbing two juice containers for the day. And I was like, hey, I just won't eat anything. And I'll just drink this juice. And then I'll bust the whole day down. And then by the end of the day, I was like, I didn't even eat nothing. I've been just drinking this juice. That's right. I was like, all right, I guess I'm good then. I people pe people get so scared of the fasting thing. Like, oh, my God, I'm not going to eat. I'm going to die, you know. And you, 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 Your body is meant to do that. I mean, if, if you... If you're a religious person, you know that Jesus did 40 days, 40 nights, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's you know, our bodies are meant to, to do that and, and cleanse. And, and, and that maintenance is necessary. Now, my question to you guys is, because every week there's different videos and different articles in the program as you go. Um, and there's documentaries as well. Do you think that the, the videos, the articles, and the documentaries, do you think that they help? They definitely did. The first the first week when I watched the first documentary, I was like, oh, wow, I definitely need to stop eating everything I've ever eaten in my entire life today. And I was like, before, like, the day of starting, I was like, this is ridiculous. All right, I'm good now. I'm all set. I'm going on the right path. I'm getting good. I'm eating healthy. I'm going to eat the sunlight because everything else is does not belong in 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 or around me at all because okay. yikes do you do you think that having the knowledge going in is easier than just doing it because if you just do it it's just you're just doing it for weight loss mm -hmm. i feel like um knowledge is power in whatever you do so me i will call you we have conversations and you know having the knowledge is definitely something that you need and it's because like you said if you just go into it with no real meaning i'm gonna do it just to lose weight not knowing that this is what your body needs. And if you do the research on it, you will clearly see that for a long time, people's been trying to push this on us, but people just don't get it. Right. So going into it, you have to know that this is what you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the videos, I seen one video that was that had me like, oh, man, what am I doing? Like, I got to stop. <laughs> like, for real, the yeah. lady didn't think she'd walk again. This lady's walking. Yeah. And I was like. Raw food. Raw she went raw for three years and the lady got rid of her wheelchair yeah. i said man this is i said he should have been told me this i'm kind of upset but you know what <laughs> it's all good man you know what i mean and I'm, I'm i'm happy that i'm doing it and more than anything it's healthy health is wealth and i feel better how about the facebook um uh eat the sunlight group D does that help when you can share and 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 you know people jump on there and say keep doing it good you know or uh or you can share and maybe inspire someone else do you feel like you're inspiring other people it, de it definitely does help out because when you look at the website and you see that there's other people doing the same thing as you are doing you don't feel so alone you don't feel like oh i'm just eating fruits and vegetables and everybody's busting out a rack of ribs and i'm over here like geez i would like some ribs <laughs> you know like i like ribs too <laughs> So it's like, it's cool. There's other people that does eat, you know, salads and do eat fruits and do eat raw foods and do, you know, sprout their own beans and stuff. And that's, that gives me the will, the, the energy that, you know, the, in Spanish, it'll be animo to, to go forward, to continue to be like, all right, I'm straight. I'm good. There's more people like me. And then they're doing different things that I didn't think about doing. I'm going to go try that recipe out. Like, I remember I posted, um, 
a picture of a raw brownie on my Facebook page and he was like, post it on a group. And I was like, I posted it and people was like, what's the recipe? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I feel I feel love. What is the recipe? Uh, it's um dates. I put cashews. It acts as for almonds, but I put cashews. Um, what else? Uh, shaved raw coconut. Um, chocolate, uh, 100% cocoa powder. Mm-hmm. And it was one other thing in there. I can't remember what it was. Okay. Oh, agave nectar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Th- that's now that because people get confused. They think that it's just all raw fruits and vegetables, and you can get creative with it. You can get creative. You can also get a dehydrator. Uh, and that helps. I have a food processor, so I make zucchini, uh, zucchini spaghetti all the time, and things like that, and cauliflower tacos, and th- so you, you you can really take it as far as you want. Um, well, well, here's an oddball question: How are your bowel movements? Listen, man. <laughs> listen. All I'm gonna say is, don't stand close for too long. <laughs> it'll get real. But anyways, um, magical. Yeah, yeah, pretty much so. But um, we have no shame. Nah, actually we don't. Um, it has changed dramatically, and um, I I feel like it's changing for the best. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like you're going to the bathroom after me. You might not be happy, but you're going to the bathroom after <laughs> me. You know, but it it works out, man. The the using the bathroom has changed a lot. I think I use the bathroom a little bit more. But it's cool because, you know, fruits and vegetables, they go in you, they do what they got to do, and then they come back they out. come right out. Whereas right that out. burger don't do that. No, that burger going to sit in you. That burger going to have you like this. <laughs> and that burger ain't going to come out right. <laughs> right. So, and, and pizza and all that. And, the, and all of that crazy stuff, what people need to understand is that stuff, like you said, knowing the knowledge and doing the research, that stuff is really not what it is. Like, you looking at that, and you're like, that look good. Of course, it's made to look good. Right. You know what I mean? So when you eating that, and you get thirsty, I mean, you get full for a little minute, and you wonder why you're hungry again, it's the reason behind that. That's it right. looked good when you looked at it. That's it right. was good for the moment. That's right. And that's the bottom line. You know what I mean? Now it's gone. And now it's gone. And now it's just going to sit. Exactly. It's going to sit in you. And when you go use the bathroom, no one can go in after you. Your stomach is hurting. You're sleeping for 18 hours. It's made to do that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But when you're doing fruits and vegetables, they go in you. They do their job. And they go. And that's and that's just the way it's supposed to be. People lose the concept that this food thing is supposed to be fuel. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be fuel. It's supposed to be to get you revved up and energized, and it's supposed to feed your cells, right? And then it's the uh, it's the it's the cooked, not so good food that does the damage to the cells, and that's where cancer comes from, and diabetes comes from, and all these diseases. Now I know before you started this program, you were on some medication. Do you feel like you're in route to get off of that medication? I definitely am. I actually went to the to the doctor recently, and he, he was like, "Oh, you lost some weight." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm on this raw food diet, and you know, it's a, it's a kind of a detox slash lifestyle change." And I was like, "I feel good." And he was like, "Well, you lost weight, and your blood pressure's down a little bit. Um, you know, soon we could take you off the pills." And I was like, "Good," because honestly, I don't like taking pills. Period. And I'm kind of thinking about stopping it now and just fooling you into thinking I'm still taking it. <laughs> I was like, you know, like, maybe you'll think that I am, whatever. But, um, yeah, definitely, wow. it, it definitely changed up. And, and to, you were you were nervous about that. Before yeah. you started the Eat the Sunlight program, you were nervous about that. And um, do, do, do you see what I was saying now when I was like, that's something that, you know, you shouldn't need to worry about because the food's going to take care of it. Yeah, I was kind of worried that I would, you know, kind of counteract with, the pills that I'm taking, not eating a certain type of food, or just eating fruits and vegetables. If, if my blood gonna be thin, or I was I was just bugging. But th- at the end of the day, I was like, you know what? This is actually better because my blood pressure is going down, and soon I won't even have to take that pill. I could just continue doing what I'm doing, and I'll be all set. Pill free is the way I'm trying to live. This is a this is a beautiful situation, Rick, Ty. We got to do this again when you guys complete the hundred days. The people watching right now, they want to see, they want to see what comes of this 100-day program, Detox for Beginners, because there's a lot of people out there that want to go on this program, and uh, um, so you guys are now inspirations to people. You guys are now inspirations.
to people. So you guys have an opportunity here to really inspire. So definitely keep posting in the Eat the Sunlight Facebook page and keep doing what you're doing, man. Proud of you guys. Keep it up, all right? Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Yes, yes. Yes. It's going down. Um, It works, people. Trust me. It's going to be hard in the beginning, but anything... That's worth living for. I mean, that's worth working hard for. That first week is tough, right? That first week is like, it's serious. Like, listen, the first week you're thinking about that good stuff, mm-hmm. and it's, it's not easy. But in the end, you're going to be like, man, that worst week, was, that first week was tough, but I'm here. I'm here to stay. Mm-hmm. So it's, if you want it, go get it. I feel good. I'm ready to go run, and it's hot outside. So I'm ready to make this work, man. There's a phrase out there. There's a catchphrase out there that, that's used especially in the hip-hop community. It's called act like you want it. You got to act like you want it. Act yeah. like you want it. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys. Subscribe to this YouTube page and go check out the Eat the Sunlight Facebook group. And uh, and let's just continue to let's continue to eat the sunlight and do the knowledge, man. Kevin W. W. Rich.